everyone, Laura Scruggs, Marketing Director here at MindGrub to share with you seven of my favorite product updates from this year's HubSpot Inbound Conference. First, they separated all of their product updates into three main categories. The first one that they named was from users who said that they wanted the product to be easier. The first update in that category was one of the most powerful deduplication mechanisms on the market today. That means that with one click, your database manager can make sure that all of your data is healthy and you don't have any duplicate records in your CRM. Second, they added more drag and drop capabilities. They introduced drag and drop email builders in beta last year, and they're introducing in the next couple of months a drag and drop landing page builder, which gives your marketing team the ability to be agile and iterate even faster. The third product update in this category was a really cool feature called the B2B Buy Now button, which they're introducing as part of an initiative called B-Commerce, which means that you can reduce almost all the friction in your buying process by giving your buyers the ability to purchase your services with one click. The second category was making sure that we could give our users more. The first update that they uh, introduced in this category was expanding and improving the app marketplace. So now you can incorporate all of your marketing mix from Vidyard to Slack to SurveyMonkey into your all-in-one tool and make sure all of your touch points are better connected. Second, they're introducing a feature called adaptive page testing, which means that you can test up to five variations of a landing page and using artificial intelligence, HubSpot will show your users the highest performing page at any given time. Finally, they're introducing in beta a multi-touch attribution report. And if you're a marketer who has to prove the worth of all of your efforts on a daily basis or at the end of a quarter, this is the holy grail. This will be able to show you as a marketer which channels are performing best and how they're contributing to your top line revenue. Finally, they wanted to make sure that HubSpot was going to be able to scale with growing businesses and meet the needs of users who were on a budget. That means they added even more functionality to the free level of the CRM, and that includes up to $1,000 a month in monthly ad spend and the ability to send 2,000 emails a month with some of the highest deliverability on the planet. So those are my favorite HubSpot product updates of this year. I encourage you to leave us some information in the comments about which ones you like the best and how we can work together to help your businesses grow with using HubSpot. Thanks so much.